Hello. I would like to tell you the story of a little girl that met Jesus. Her name is Juliana, and later on she will become Saint Juliana of Cornillon. She is a great saint that lived around 1200 in the Middle Ages, near the big city of Liège in Belgium. Would you like to discover her story with us? Here we go. The story starts with Juliana and her sister Agnes. They were born on a large farm in the countryside. Shortly thereafter, they both became orphans as their mother and father died of an illness. They now live in the Carmel of Cornillon near Liège. In the hospital, nuns care for the lepers and the sick. Agnès and Juliana live in the farm next to the hospital with Sister Sapiens. And Sister Sapiens has made a big cake to comfort them. Mmm, that looks good, said Juliana. Agnes and Juliana like to read the Bible and learn how to pray. When Sister Sapiens reads to them, Juliana always asks for her favourite story. Can you read the story where Jesus turns water into wine? Or the one where he heals the sick? asked Juliana. Nevertheless, Juliana is often bored. She misses her parents. She would like to have a friend. She feels better when she sees the priest raise the bread and say on behalf of Jesus, This is my body. When the priest raises the host, she feels a fire burning in her heart. She does not know why. What is happening in my heart during the consecration? Sister Sapiens responds. The consecration is when Jesus becomes present in the bread of wine. He is there with his whole body and blood. Oh, Jesus is in the host. He certainly tries to comfort my heart. I wish he was my friend. Jesus and Juliana quickly become best friends. Juliana loves to do Jesus small services, to talk to him and learn more about him by reading the Bible. She considers him as a model of whom she tries to imitate. Eventually, the day of her first communion comes. She receives the body of Jesus for the first time in her small, gentle hands. She gently swallows him and he lives for the first time in her heart. She is full of joy and spends a long time praying with him. How sweet! What happiness! One day, while Juliana prays in the chapel, she sees a great light that illuminates her face. It looks like a big, full moon, round and shiny. Oh, but there is a piece missing. This is strange, and I don't understand it. Juliana finds it very peculiar, and she becomes a little afraid. Eventually, she asks herself if Jesus is trying to tell us something through this. I would like a feast held in honour of my presence in this bread, says Jesus. Oh, a feast? But why? You pray often whispered Jesus, and you love me. However, many forget I am present in the bread and wine. I am right by your side every day. I would like you to celebrate this once a year. This will be the feast of Corpus Christi. The bread of life? Why are you telling me this? she asks. Juliana, I choose you to tell my friends and my church to celebrate my presence in the world. Juliana is very afraid in having to accomplish this mission. Jesus reassures her. He will always be with her, like a true friend. She decides to answer, yes. Juliana tries to do all she can to convince the church to create this new great feast. Corpus Christi, the feast of the living Jesus in the bread and the wine with his body and his blood. Let's go, little missionary.
There is so much to do. And don't worry, I will be with you. Dear friends, I have told you the summary of the life of the little Juliana. And to discover more about her story and the best anecdotes, you can buy the book in the best bookstores and online.